Mazda has challenged me to compete in an eight-hour endurance race in aid of the amazing forces charity, Mission Motorsport. As I prepare, I'm going to meet real challenges, people who've made a big impact by doing things differently. Today, I'm traveling to London's Mayfair to the home of one of motor racing's greatest. I'm super excited to meet Sir Sterling Moss. Good morning. Morning, Come still in. in. Come in. Thank you very much. You've been described as the greatest driver never to win the World Championship. Yeah. Would you mind sharing us some highlights of your career? Please? So if we, if I look at this, I see the best I did was from 1954, which is when I first started in Formula One, uh, up until I retired in '62. I had 312 starts, 240 finishes, and 133 first places. So it was a very much more dangerous uh, sport. I mean, we were losing three or four drivers a year at least. I wonder if you could share with us the, the Goodwood incident that, that, that ended your career. I was unlapping myself from Graham Hill, and he was on the right-hand side. I'm coming around like this to pass him, and uh, the next thing I know is he starts to come out and push me off. I think he may have been given a signal from the marshal, a blue flag, which means the car's coming up. All I could do was keep going left until I got on the grass. I could not saw the steering and, and most of my braking. I was unconscious for a month and paralyzed for six months. There's a steering wheel from, from, a, from a Lotus. This that, isn't the yeah. crash. That's, that's my crash that put me out, yeah. Made me work for a living. This, this one, this spa, this is when a wheel came off at 140 miles an hour. I'd have been driving the, the Lotus Lighter and that would be my head, you see. Because I, I never wore a seatbelt, mainly because of fire. Do you think it was an unconventional life choice? Yeah, racing is a very unique sort of sport. If you find your niche, you know, it gives you a tremendous kick. Mm. This is Goodwood? Yeah, Goodwood 62. Kids would write to Sterling Moss, uh, London, it would get here. Sterling Moss, London. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think your greatest challenge was the Mili Milia, which is a thousand miles around Italy. We are doing up to speeds of 100, 180 miles an hour, which was a lot in 1955. You could go around a corner and suddenly find yourself faced with a, with a, with a truck coming at you. And, you know, those sort of things are pretty scary. Mm. I've been challenged to enter an endurance race. If you had any advice for me, what, what would it be? Concentration <laughs> is the most important thing. Completely concentrate for the, whatever the length of the race is. I'm part of a four-man team sharing the same car. Well, you've got three others to blame then. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for, for inviting us in and for sharing. Nice, very nice to meet you and speak to you about these, these interesting things. To spend the day with one of the greatest racing drivers of all time has been a real privilege and a lot of fun. Sir Sterling has become a living legend by following his own path in life, despite the risk. To see more, check out the rest of my real challenges.